guys welcome back to my channel and as usual I'm very excited to be filming today if you're into makeup and you love watching makeup reviews here on YouTube I am sure you guys have already heard about this collaboration I am talking about the Too Faced and Jackie Aina collaboration on extending their foundation shade as you guys can see by the smile I was really like extremely excited when I heard about this collaboration because if you have similar complexion to mine you know the struggle we have gone through to find a perfect match and I know last year they came out with Fenty we have Lancome but to be honest it's really hard for me to find a foundation shade that I feel like I really love and for the past years I've been using NARS and this one I use is shade cotton and it is really good I have no complaints about this one so, but when I heard about the collaboration I definitely wanted to try these ones out so I did watch Jackie Aina shade match video and, and that's how I decided on which shade to get so I went with the color sable as I mentioned there are three darker shades and Jackie Aina did say that sable has more of a red undertone compared to the two darker shades so as you guys can see I have more of a red undertone so I went with sable but keep on watching to see if the hype around this foundation is real or not because I prepped my face already so what I did use I used the sun protection from Isurine it's SP50 and the NYX primer which is Angel Veil and this is not my favorite primer at all but I was using it because this is the only one I have at home at the moment because my Fenty Beauty is finished but anyway when watching Jackie Aina's video she did mention not to put a lot that it is very like full coverage little will go a long way so I only have one pump at the moment so let's see This is actually very red. I look crazy. <gasps> Guys, I think this might be a little bit too red for me. Ooh, I feel like I look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Yo, I've seen a couple of reviews and everyone has been saying and raving about this foundation, saying about how amazing it is. And you know, to be honest, being on YouTube myself, sometimes I don't trust these reviews because I feel like they know each other. So if it's your friend, obviously you will give a good review because and if you collaborate with a brand, you expect the same as well. So I feel like as these beauty influencers, when they collaborate with brands, they're not as hard on the products as they will be if like, let's say Kim Kardashian West send them a product. They don't know her, so they will give their honest opinion. Comment down below if you guys agree. But yeah, so this one is very red, so I really have to put it down my neck so that it matches because it's way, 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 way too red. Oh my god. But guys, let me just turn off the camera for like a couple of minutes to try and blend this in because I can see that this is gonna take a while to blend in. And I look super red. Oh. Yo, let's see if I can save this foundation. So, yeah, I'm just gonna. So, this is five minutes later after blending, and I have to say, it actually blended in really nicely. I do feel like I look a little bit more red compared to when I used the NAS one, but it's not bad at all. And one thing about this foundation, I have to say, is that the formula is really good it's actually very thick but another thing is that the finish as you guys can see is quite more of the dewy finish so it's not really matte so if you have oily skin hmm to be honest I'm not sure if this foundation is for you yeah I don't think it's oily skin friendly it's more for people with dry skin like I have but the finish is nice let me know what you guys think It doesn't look bad at all to be honest the first time I applied I was really nervous because it looked way too red but after blending it in it looks a lot better and to be honest it did take a longer time to blend in this foundation than when I use my NARS the color cotton but the result 
I don't mind it at all but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look and I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts and let's see if it's worth spending your coins on this foundation let me fix so this is the finished look guys so I didn't apply too much makeup after that I just used my makeup revolution concealers a black opal powder and a sleek blush and eyeliner and mascara and I have to say I absolutely love it the only issue is that because it's not matte you guys can see I'm sweating around my nose area here and the same thing happens as well when I use the Fenty Beauty foundation but when I use the NARS one it doesn't happen but yeah but it is quite hot in New York it's like 90 degrees today so it might be that but just about the foundation I absolutely love it it's very beautiful I would definitely be keeping it and I'm gonna be rocking it this summer probably we wearing it day sorry I'm looking this way all the time it's because I have my mirror here but we'll probably wear it on cooler days not when it's this hot because it's so annoying when you keep sweating around your nose area but for $39 this foundation is definitely worth it us melanin sisters go for it try it they have three darker shade I got sable they have two darker than that one so go ahead and try it comment down below as well if you've already tried it and you love it and as I mentioned before if you guys have oily skin hmm make sure you have a really good pri uh, primer or you're really good at setting your face and if you have dry skin I think it should work out pretty well yeah so I love it so the hype is real the foundation it's absolutely amazing and as you guys can see I think it looks pretty good I'm not sure how it looks on camera but when I look at my mirror here it does match my chest I did put foundation on my neck as well but yeah so I'm just like so happy that these brands decided to collaborate with someone who actually knows what is missing in the market and Jackie Aina really did do an amazing job and yeah so I will mention it again the shade I use was Sable it will be out in Sephora stores I think end of the month and as for now you can either get it from Sephora's website or from Too Faced website. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz that I always talk about, and I'll be back with more videos.